Hello, my name is Dominique Duff. I'm working at Orange, the historical French telecommunication company. I'm an ergonomist and I'm currently finishing a PhD in design and ergonomics with LS Dozen Laboratory Straight School of Design in collaboration with GV Lab from Tokyo. Me and my partners will introduce our work regarding Yokobo, a sensible presence project. Orange is working on the theme of the connected home. The vision explores the home as a place composed of various IoT and a vocal assistant. And through this object, the home could help support and offer services to the inhabitants to improve their experience and well-being. Our original question was, what type of value a robot can bring to the household and what could be the impact of such an object? To work on this subject, we choose to focus on young retirees, which means persons that have just retired. These people are full-time at home. The transition to retirement is a period that can cause many upheavals. These newly retired people may need to reappropriate their space and time and reorganize their domestic tasks. It's a period where divorces are increasing. So we wondered if a robot could be an object that could mediate the two individuals who have just retired to improve their communication. To understand the ecosystem of our users, we launched two studies in France and in Japan. First, our goal was to understand the life of retirees in their homes. This two-week study highlighted the emergence of a complex and ambivalent feeling for retired couples while expressing a relatedness need towards the partner, Spousis also pointed out a need for individual freedom. This need for personal time can generate a gap between the two Spousis because one of them can need more time alone, causing a feeling of loneliness in the other. Therefore, we observed a surprising insight which indicates that even when living with a spouse, some retired Spousis and experience a feeling of loneliness. We carried out a second survey with the same participants to understand the perception of so-called social robots in the context of the retirees' households. The second survey used the SoftBank's robot paper. We wanted to collect the participants' feelings about a large robot of this type placed in the context of their home. Paper was placed for two days as a technical prop to gain users' information and perceptions regarding such an object. The aim was not to determine the object's usefulness in the household, but to study how the participants apprehend it with its behaviors and dynamics. Results highlighted the notion of presence that such an object brings and the desire to engage in interaction with such a robot. In contrast, it was considered to be cumbersome and noisy. Considering a robot is a possible link within the couple, and considering a robot can generate a presence feelings, our aim is not for this object to be a companion for the spouse who feels alone, but for it to convey the presence of the other. We did not consider purpose robot to answer this issue. Consequently, we decided to seek another way of envisioning a robot. Three types of robots in spiders. Weak robots. They hesitate. They make us two things. Behavioral objects are objects with unpredictable and spontaneous behavior that make us think they have intentions. Robjects are daily objects that have been robotized. All these studies show that it's not the complexity of behavior or appearance that will make people use this object, but rather the ability to draw people's attention. What inspires us is that they are not objects that replace us. They are objects that put us into action, mainly based on their motions. From this background, we started a design process to create an object that could explore or research and design questions. In the beginning, we had the two surveys that produced insights just described before. Then we started an ideation phase to identify a service concept that matched our user target. From this service concept, we conducted the design thinking process and we delivered a mock-up from which roboticists 
build the prototype following an agile approach. The pictorial describes the work achieved from identifying the service concept to prototyping it. During these phases, the reflections sailed between the concept, the shapes, design, and the interactions modalities. The team shift from a collective of designers to a multidisciplinary team, including engineers and programmers. The ideation phase led to Yokobo, a object placed at the home entrance, which can fuse effortlessly with the home. Its focus is to create little moments of life to strengthen the link between the couple. We started to study objects in the entrance hall and modeled the entrance with papers, seeking imaginaries and usage scenarios. Many discussions focused on the pin tray often led on the sideboard. The pin tray can be used extensively and regularly and receive the personal keys of the couple. We studied how to restring this small object to propose additional functions. Final design interactions sharpened the concept and focused on building functions of the pin tray object around the notion of proximity. This work led to the statement that the closer a person is to Yokobo, the more intimacy the function expresses. Having defined clearly the concept, the product designer sketched various propositions. Then he worked on 3D modeling to generate a more precise vision of the forms. Yokobo's external shape evolved into four-piece robot, the ball, the central part, the dome, and the base. In parallel, we built a mock-up in cardboard in real size, which has informed the height of Yokobo. It warned the necessity of always having the ball horizontal to keep the key inside the ball. It was also a great source of information for identifying the appropriate weight that engines can support. We tested boards of various sizes and shapes to enable the definition of the appropriate size and depth of the ball. The interaction designer worked on interactions and motions. To reinforce the link between the couple, we thought of two ways to do it. Yokobo enabled a direct way to reinforce the link by offering to transfer motions message to the spouse. The indirect way to concern discussions the couple could have concerning their experiences with Yokobo and how it represents the welcome of their homes. To realize this, Yokobo has two functions. First, it expresses the state of the home through data coming from the home sensors. Namely, for this prototype, data is provided by the sensors of a smart home weather station. To create the animation expressing the state of the house, designers choose to base the design on the human body's reaction while facing extreme weather. As an example, when it's freezing, Yokobo shakes. Second, Yokobo welcomes people. It mimics a person in front of it to greet it. The designers worked on Yokobo's welcoming and expressing the state of the home behaviors that enable people to feel emotion when watching Yokobo. Yokobo's shape implies a combination of four degrees of freedom. Therefore, Yokobo is composed of three motors, one to rotate the whole structure of, on a vertical axis, one to enable the ball to bow on a groove, and the last one to make the ball turn on itself. The ball is freely moving by gravity to stay in an horizontal position. The three motors are hidden in the dome of Yokobo. To conclude, Yokobo is a object with a non-anthropomorphic shape playing an intermediary role between newly retired couples. Yokobo is designed to be an obtrusive for people and fuse into the spouse's home. It interacts with people while fading away to enhance human relationship. It contributes to research in the new field of human object human interaction. Beyond a object, the design approach gave it the possibility to take a step aside. It led to creating a new concept, the sensible presence for object for newly retired couples suffering from loneliness. It proposes an object that questions a couple's link through sensitivity. 
Yokobo is both a presence in the entrance and represents a reminder of the other's presence.